So today on preparing for the Disney College program, it is the day of our Welcome to Your Disney College program Zoom meeting. So it starts in three minutes. So I'm about to go in and I'll come tell you guys about it later. It is exactly three weeks until I leave the country. So pretty exciting. <laughs> Okay, hey guys, and welcome to packing up for my DCP. I don't know what in this video you've already seen because I know I have filmed stuff like cleaning my car, getting that ready, and some other small things. But today is May 26th. My check-in, my check-in day is actually May, um, my check-in day is May 13th. So we have some time, about just under three weeks, but I actually leave in 11 days, give or take a couple hours actually leave in like 12 days minus a couple hours so we have some time but also not a lot of time before I actually have to go and leave for my dis my Disney College program. I'm driving down so in packing I do have a little bit more room than anybody who's flying which I am so lucky about. My parents are driving with me and I'm so thankful because I could first of all not do the drive on my own. It's about 22 hours of straight driving. We're doing it over five days. So in this video not, not only am I packing for the next three months because I'm going to go to I'm going down to Florida on the International Disney College program. So that's from from June 13th to August 25th. Three months is still a long time but I'm trying to pack but I also have to have both my parents pack and my car and stuff for the actual drive. This is what we're working with so far. We are using my brother's old bedroom which is now our guest room as like a staging packing area. My mom's gonna help me. But our goal tonight is <laughs> I've tried to pre-pack and tried to like get things ready earlier, but it didn't work. So I have an entire Ziploc space saver bag that actually refilled, so I have to contact Space Saver and let them know about that. But we have to actually take out my clothes that I already have set aside because I'm at my parents' house and not my apartment. Basically everything's here, all of my summer clothes, and I've basically said that I want everything down in Orlando with me, which can't happen. I've overpacked. So we're gonna grab that, try to organize all of this, make actual piles, and try to do some packing. We're not doing much tonight, we're just gonna do some. And then I'm just gonna keep coming back to you guys as we do stuff in the next 11, 12 days. My goal is to be fully packed with things like ready to go in the car the night before. If not sooner, I'm wearing things like sweat shorts and double XL t-shirts that are not definitely not coming around the house right now so that anything that I want to go is clean and can be put aside. So I'm gonna do some of that. So basically what we've got going on here is like dressier shirts, like button ups, and like this is like a tie up front shirt. Skorts, shorts, skirts, and skorts. Dresses, shirts, mainly Disney, and some pajamas. <laughs> this box has some clothing in there, but it's also pre-TCP haul stuff I need to film. And then there's even more piles of like tank tops and stuff right there that I want to bring. And I have stuff that I wore last vacation that I want to bring. I think we just need to get everything in here that is even a possibility and then square it down. Yeah. I also have all of this stuff, um, a squishmallow and a blanket. That's all in a space saver. That one stayed squished, which is really good. So I can fit more stuff in there. This bin has stuff I want to bring. This has stuff I want to bring. This has stuff from my room that I want to bring. This is miscellaneous stuff I want to bring. This is stuff I just brought from my apartment that I want to bring. My traditions outfit, some tea, bunch of masks. And then there's a macadamia getting into the bag. I don't know how she's gonna fit. She's pushing her. Are you one of the things I want to bring? I do, I want to bring my dog. Can't, but I want to. So this is so stressful. Okay, we're gonna keep chugging along. Okay, this is what has happened for tonight. Basically, this is all of my regular clothes 
well, shorts and everything. All of my clothes are here that I'm bringing. All the stuff that's in that doorway is all stuff that I have decided not to bring. So I actually think not that bad. That's literally everything. Like my dresses to be hung up, all my shirts, all my blouses, absolutely everything. It's actually not looking that bad to me. I am very happy with it. We'll do more tomorrow or another day. Hopefully I won't be on camera always looking like crap. So that's what we have done for today. I'm gonna go watch some Jane the Virgin with my mom and we'll continue tomorrow. Okay, hey guys, today is day two of packing for my Disney college program. Nothing has changed from what I showed yesterday, but I had gotten a whole bunch of extra large um, space saver bags, which are gigantic. I thought that they were gonna be like super small. Got the XL, did not expect the size. I did order some smalls and I just opened them. They're also quite large for small, so I'm very happy with that. What I'm gonna do is in this one here, I'm gonna put all of my pajamas and bathing suits into one of these, suck it, close it up because I'm not gonna touch pajamas or anything like that for the next little bit and we're gonna make this smaller because that pile needs to become small enough for me to actually pack it and make this work. Yay! We love that. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. I did buy three like duffel bags off of Amazon. And then since we're driving my car, I have a Hyundai Elantra. It's a 2020 Hyundai Elantra. So it is, trunk is quite large, but still with me, my dad, my mom in the car, we need it to fit everybody. So I'm gonna space saver some things, make them smaller. Let's do it. In terms of clothes too, I have this box, which is, I think I've already mentioned is for the pre-DCP haul. I'm gonna film that today because it would be super great if I could get all of my clothing packed. For now, pajama space saver bag. And there is all my bathing suits and pajamas. Space savered. This is obviously not sponsored, but space saver, if you're watching this, sponsor me. I'm your biggest fan. So now I have this clothing brick. I swear these bags not only help with organization, but it means you can get so much more in. Like I know it still seems really big, but keep in mind that this is 10 pairs of pajamas and six bathing suits. I think that's pretty awesome. Yay. What I might do right now is actually go grab my overnight bag and pack it. I think that's a smart idea. Let's do that. Okay, so here's what I've done. I have my overnight bag, which is just a, I think the large, not the extra large duffel from Vera Bradley. And then I have everything here. So this is my actual clothing pile for the drive. So I have each outfit with a sticky note on it. So like this is day one. So a pair of athletic shorts and a Disney shirt that says, believe in the journey. My destiny is calling with Elsa. That's what I'm wearing when we're leaving the house. So this actually doesn't need to go in the bag because I need it available to me every other outfit so like an athletic dress my next day's outfit is all here and they all have sticky notes i used my piles of clothing to pick these outfits so these are all things that were going to come anyways i'm just going to put all of that in my duffel and yeah <sighs> so let's do it That was super easy. So I have all my clothes, my shoes. There's a spot here for my toiletries and makeup bag. And that is donezo, ready to go. Feels so good to have that done and packed and ready to go. Welcome to day three of packing. We have 11, 10 days, so we go. So today's job is, this is the roof bag that my dad bought to go in my car. And we're gonna open up and see how big it is. And we're gonna see if I can have all my clothing packed today. We don't leave for just over a week. We have time, but also no time because I have my last day of work Monday and my parents work until literally half an hour before we're rolling out of the drive. Way. Okay, so here's the bag. It's fairly big. Then that's the mat that goes on the top of my car and the straps that go inside the car. So those clip onto this thing. So that's gonna be full. It's not waterproof, so everything needs to be in space saver bags or garbage bags to make this work. But it's basically gonna go on the top of my car up there. Okay, so we filled it up with rabbit litter, rabbit food, beach toys, um, beach loungers and some stuff. It's very heavy. We got up there, it took three pe person job. Now we're gonna put these on and do a test run with it. My fear of someone trying to be a thief and steal from me is probably not gonna happen. It's gonna be way too much to try to get that off and you're gonna have to like, spend a lot of time. So when we're in busy tourist areas, it's gonna look strange if someone comes up to it with scissors, cuts it and then is struggling to take it off. Probably. So I think we're pretty okay. So we're gonna put these on and we'll see how this goes. Now 
we're gonna drive it around a little bit and see how it works. I'm in my car, we're about to go for a test drive. I'm also testing out my new camera mount, which is really fun. Uh, Mac is with me, my dad's just fixing up this because we actually did it wrong. I didn't read the instructions. We were just thinking it was gonna be self-explanatory. It's not, so we're fixing it up and then I'm gonna drive around the block. We're gonna keep it on for today and whenever we go do anything, we're going to um, keep it on the car. We're on the move now. I'm driving around my block. So far, the straps are really close to my head, which kind of sucks, and they're vibrating, which is scaring me, but I think that they're good. Pretty sure. I'm almost home, so I think it's going really well. I'm also loving the camera mount. Home, it didn't move. I am so happy with that. My parents left. They aren't here to see us come home, Mac. Okay, that was good. Guys, I just finished work for the last time before moving. We have like a week and one day until we pull out of the driveway. We have so much packing to do. This morning, the leases got sent out and though four by two was my top choice, obviously 70% of the rooms are two by twos. So my roommate and I got two by two. Feeling good that we both got two by two, hoping that that means that we are rooming together because at the end of the day, that's what matters the most. Now we're just waiting on our itinerary and that's gonna let me know which complex I'm living in. So once I know that, I think it's gonna be pretty confident that me and my roommate are actually gonna be roommates if we both have the same complex. And also I'm just excited to find out. I wanna know where I'm working. So I'm like very anxious. Like we knew the lease was this morning and we know that the itinerary is about 12 to 10 days. So both like Thursday, Friday probably. <sighs> but it's like, I'm just so excited to know. Hello and welcome to yet another day of packing. Today is exactly a week until we leave. Like it's four o'clock now or just before four because one of my videos is about to come out and it's Tuesday the 31st and we leave at 5.30 next Tuesday. So I have a lot to do because really, it doesn't look like there's been much progress. I swear there has been. Basically yesterday I did nothing other than what you saw. Anyways, yeah, final clothing pack. I'm gonna get it all on the bed and I'll show you guys basically what I have. Okay, this is super exciting. This is everything. So I have all my dresses, which is a lot. Like I realize I've overpacked. These are all my button ups and like blousy shirts. All my t-shirts, they're mostly Disney, but I have like a couple regular shirts. All my shorts, like all my bottoms, shorts, skirts, skort, shorts to go under things, workout gear, shorts, all my tank tops. Those are all my sports bras for working out. These are some extra lounge stuff and PJs that didn't actually get into there. So I'm gonna have to find a spot to put those. The only real clothing that isn't in this at all is my move-in day outfit, but that is all of my clothes. So now I'm gonna put all of that in a space saver bag, but I'm gonna essentially put it in the space saver bag, put it in to the yellow duffel and then suck all the air out. So it's like in this shape of the other yellow duffel. My parents are the ones who told me to do this. So it's not my idea in any way, but that's what I'm gonna do. And then that's gonna go out to my garage. We actually put my over the car bin into my garage. That sounds a little weird, but it's in there so that then I can put this stuff into that and like start shoving things. If that can be zipped up and like good to go so that in a week it just like goes on top of my car, that would be amazing. And I kind of want to start seeing how much room we actually have because if, my car is like fairly empty i'm gonna be very happy for now we're gonna space saver all of this all right i want to give you guys an update here is the clothing bag you can really see how big this bag is but that has two extra large space saver bags and one smaller one there's still space so i'm gonna obviously fill that space but that is all of my clothing that's stuff for the car such stuff that's going away everything else just needs to fit in the other two bags but i'm gonna like space saver down my hats and stuff so that is all my clothes this bag i even like filled half to the height of this this bag and then this stuff is all in the fold over but i'm, I'm amazed it's smaller doesn't take up as much room still has room in there and these also waterproof everything which this is all going on the top of my car so that's pretty awesome i think so my next course of action is going to be underwear things like that i'm obviously going to do that off camera but i'm going to put it in a smaller space saver bag get all the air out and then put it in there i'm bringing some socks so yeah 
I'm gonna do that now. And that is officially all of my clothes packed literally everything it weighs an absolute ton but that's clothing completely done like undergarments everything i'm bringing some reusable masks for the most part i've been wearing n95s and i have a giant package of those that i'm bringing uh, and then my parents are coming in july so if i need more they can bring me more or i can buy some obviously um but i am bringing reusable ones for like around flamingo those are in there all of my bras all my underwear all my socks are in there i don't have any white socks or black socks for work just because i don't know where i'm working yet but I think in the end I'm gonna buy those when I'm down there or Amazon them to myself that's that but we're doing really well so I'm gonna see what I can get done today okay hey guys today is like Thursday before I go so I leave Tuesday so there's not very many days left I'm actually at my apartment right now I spent the night here last night with my roommate but I'm going back home right now because there's just so much I need to do at home so <laughs> I'm packing up like the last things that I need from here. I thought I had most of it. I think earlier in the vlog I told you I did. But then there was like things I was looking for and I realized they were here. So I had to grab them. I'm also going around right now and like this is one of my rabbit's toys. And I don't want it in the way my roommates. I'm just gonna tuck that stuff away. Literally heading out in the next five minutes. So I'm saying goodbye to my apartment. I might be back in the next couple days. I'm not 100% sure about all of that, but for now, this is goodbye. I'm sad. I'll be back in September, obviously. For now, this is it. What is, what is this? I am off. My bedroom's completely clean. I opened up all the windows all the way. Towel's waiting for me, so it's gonna be like a hotel when I get home. There's me. Hey. Okay, hey guys, it's the same day, just later. So I'm going to tackle more of this. From my apartment, I did bring um, two pillows. So I am going to open up this space saver bag and put in those two pillows inside of it so that this can then and maybe one more stuffed animal i have another so yeah i'm gonna open that up and put in two pillows that i brought from my apartment i am a big gush like squishy pillow person so i brought a super squishy one a little less squishy one that is going to be like the underneath pillow that actually has cooling technology which i'm hoping in orlando over the summer will help me immensely so i'm gonna do that and then the next task is going to be getting absolutely everything into like piles to start pack those because it would be kind of nice to be done packing today just because like i have i have like little things to do in the evenings and appointments and i just want to like spend the weekend with friends and stuff so that is my plan in this moment let's do it and that is now the flat shell of all my pillows stuffed animals towels and a blanket Okay guys, I leave in four days and like one hour or potentially even less. Looks like we might be leaving earlier than we thought, but just zipped up that bag. Don't even need the, need the blue bag. So other than all my Mickey ears there, I'm done packing. So I'll show you kind of what's going on. So here I have all my electronics. I was at my apartment and grabbed my switch and all of that stuff. I have markers there that I did write on my car for later. That is... All my room stuff, toiletries, absolutely everything's in there. That bag has a Mickey pillow that I need, still need to airtight, but I need to film a couple clips for a video for that. And Mickey ears, this is all not coming. That's not coming. There's like just some trash. I need to take off my acrylics because you can't have like different colors and I'm just gonna take them off. Went to get my legs waxed earlier and they had this bag, which I thought was really funny. It's inappropriate, but funny. I'm gonna put all my gel nail polish and I bought, and I bought a tiny little gel lamp. It should be, delivered sometime today so as soon as that comes i'm going to pick what gel polishes i want to bring throw them in that bag with like a nail file and like a couple of things to do shellac nails and then i'm about to throw the blue bag which was my third bag into that black one i'm going to bring that out to the garage and we're going to get that the roof thing settled but it seems like 90 percent of the stuff is going to be in that roof bag out here in the hallway my hamper i filled with shoes and a whole bunch of like random things to like fill space that is just a clutch and then some random things that I'm gonna to try to fit into clothing thing. And then this is that bag from yesterday, which is gonna go flat on top of everything in the roof rack. So I'm gonna do a couple of little things and then go to try to fill the roof bag. Cause if I don't have to touch it again, that would be good. The reason my ears are just sitting in that Ikea bag is actually cause I'm gonna to try to take out the liner of my trunk that is on top of where my spare tires. I'm gonna to try to fill that with ears. It is Friday and we don't leave till Tuesday, but if I can 
can have most things done today. So it's just like making sure my overnight bag has like the toiletries, like I'm using my makeup and stuff. You to put them all into there and put that in my car then. But if I can have most of the roof bag done so that we're just like throwing it onto my car, that would be super awesome. But I did like all my jewelry today and stuff. I didn't show you because it honestly, we're at the point where it's like very boring stuff, but I'm gonna see what I can do and then I'll be done. And I'm so excited. Okay, today is the day before the day before we go. It is Sunday. We are in serious getting ready mode. So it's like 2 p.m. already. We have my brother and his partner and then also my roommate coming over for dinner tonight. So we're gonna be busy all evening. Last night I had a going away get together with friends at my apartment and actually said goodbye to my apartment for the last time. I have actually been back twice since I told you guys it was my last time. That literally is my last time. So we have a little bit today. I'll all of tomorrow where we have some appointments and then Tuesday we leave and I have to do a whole bunch of cleaning so I'm hoping to get most of my car packed today the entire roof bag is packed and done I can show that to you guys but it is completely done ready to go so I'll show you what I have going on with my car right now so here's the roof bag it now has both of my duffels and then this bag on top and that is everything that is in there as for my car, I've got all of my ears down there. This is the bag that I got on Friday. I have now filled it with all of my nail polish stuff, my tiny little lamp. So I have everything to do gel nails. I did take off my acrylics and paint my nails. I now have sausage fingers without my acrylics on, but that's okay. Over here is what we have else. So I wanna fit some more things into this area before I put back on the trunk, just cause it's empty space. So I have a bag of small things and those are coolers that I actually want to bring with me because they're not available in the US and this bag of shoes and stuff I've just brought some stuff to start like putting into the trunk so that it's not as much work for us later we're gonna see what I can fit underneath my trunk right now hopefully quite a bit fingers crossed and that's that so I've got like samples of laundry detergent that I got batteries my extra duffel for when I come home all my ears um reusable shopping bags books um, Crocs sandals, my nail stuff, all underneath the thing and throwable into one of those bags when we actually arrive. But a bit of an incident, um, that can is now open because I poured it in a cup because I had to instantly shotgun it. <laughs> it popped. So it's all over in there in my car because it's sprayed everywhere. These used to be on a cardboard pallet, but that is now covered in gin smash. So I'm having a great time, but I got absolutely everything here that needs to fit in my car. We're working on this, we're working on this. All right, so we have cans and new solutions, but that is all of my stuff that's going in the trunk other than my overnight bag while we're actually driving. And then my two parents' overnight bags. So we're doing really well. It's not a crazy amount of stuff. I'm very happy with that. All right, by far the hardest part about leaving on a trip is saying goodbye to my pets. But right now I'm saying goodbye to Macadamia. I'm at my brother's house and I'm dropping her off. I'm gonna go off camera to do this. Maki, are you going to miss me? She just got a haircut. I literally just picked her up from the groomers and I have to leave her. Okay, I am back from dropping off my dog at my brother's place, who was very sad <laughs> to say goodbye, not only to my dog, but also my brother and his girlfriend for a long time. Thankfully, I'll be seeing them soon. <laughs> I will Macadamia, who's my dog. I'm in my garage. This is like the worst lighting because it's raining outside, not great for trying to pack. We did bring my car into the garage. It hardly fits, but I'm gonna try to pack up the trunk right now. Sadly, it just started like pouring rain and all day it's been like trickling, but I've been doing stuff inside, like cleaning my room, getting my rabbit ready and stuff like that. I'm gonna pack her up. We have the stuff that we already have, um, but all of us have our overnight bags that need to go in there. And then the roof bag needs to go on top. I already have the liner. I've done a whole bunch of stuff to get my actual vehicle ready for this drive, but we leave in two and a half hours. I'm gonna go grab stuff and start packing the car full of That was like the fastest thing ever because we were so prepared. But there's the trunk. So everyone's overnight bags, bag of snacks, everything ready to shut. Now for this back window that looks somewhat plain. I might have bought paint markers and I'm gonna write, I'm moving to Disney World on the back of my car because I'm moving to Disney World right now. I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'm done, so I'll show you guys what I did. 
Now let's hope that the rain doesn't ruin it. So hopefully it slowed down. But I just wrote, I'm moving to Disney World in the back of my car. And I, I tried to do my best at freehanding like the Disney font. So I know it's not perfect, but it's something. Okay, I added more and I have to show you guys. So at the tops of my windows, I added little pixie dusts. We have what you guys already saw. This is a vinyl decal. And then I just added different colored fireworks around it. And then on this window, I wrote, have a magical day. It's just look, it's so cute. I am quite literally obsessed. It's amazing. Even an hour and a half. So it's time to get the roof bag on my car. Dad's here because I, I can't do it myself. I forgot to set up a time lapse, but we have the bag on the roof. And that's what really matters. So it's looking really good. We're trying to secure all of the little flyaway strappies, but the car is now fully packed. We got the bag, trunk is packed. Inside, I made it nice and cozy. So we've got hand sanitizer and mints and stuff there. A blanket. That's like my front windshield thing hooks if we want to use them all in all we are ready for magic um i am editing this video right now and sorry finding dory's on in the background but we're not stopping it for this um, <laughs> i am fully at flamingo now and i never filmed an outro for this i just went straight into the intro for like the traveling down here video but that's the end we get on the road like right after this clip so yeah i know it's hectic and everything but i hope you guys enjoyed this was an hour and 15 minutes of footage that i cut down so i it's long but it would, could have been longer <laughs> definitely do not forget to subscribe down below it helps me out a lot and it's completely free way to support me you can also follow me on instagram to see what's happening here at disney as we go because again i'm i'm in flamingo right now all these videos are coming out out of order because i basically just editing when i have time so yeah, you can already see my move in. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.